You think you know Daredevil? Well, here's some things you may not have known about Netflix's show about the man without fear. Close your eyes. Dad. Close your eyes. I, I, I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. Daredevil was made purposefully darker, both in aesthetic and in narrative. The showrunner of Daredevil, Stephen Denight, has explained that they wanted to evoke the color pattern of movies from the 70s, as well as counteract the extremely well-lit sets of modern-day television shows. Apparently, the show was at times too dark, as they had to brighten up some scenes in post-production. Denight prefers it that way, though, stating, quote, I would rather go too far and pull back than not go far enough. There's an old children's joke. You hold up a white piece of paper and you ask, What's this? A rabbit in a snowstorm. <sighs> the show exists after the Battle of New York from the first Avengers film. It is heavily referenced in the first episode of Daredevil as, quote, the incident, and grounds the show in the Marvel Cinematic Universe canon. Charlie Cox, who plays the titular character, worked closely with a legally blind man of 20 years in order to make for a more convincing Matt Murdock. He learned to properly emulate using a cane this way. According to Cox, it was learning how to, quote, be blind as Matt Murdock that ruined his opportunity to land the role of young Han Solo. He is so well versed in avoiding to make eye contact for his role in Daredevil that he finds himself doing it in real life as well, which is precisely what he did while auditioning for the role. Cox had extremely limited exposure to comics prior to accepting the role, and he wasn't familiar at all with the character of Daredevil until filming the first two episodes of the series. After filming those episodes, Cox began reading the comics, starting from the very beginning and working his way to the present so he could familiarize himself with the character. Let's go. We gotta meet the real estate agent in 45. <sighs> was that a moan? The paralegal. What was she like? <sighs> Violent. The show's creator, Drew Goddard, however, had an extremely personal connection to the character of Daredevil and felt responsible for telling his own story when it came to writing. Quote, with Matt Murdock, I had such a personal connection to that character, it was just like, I have to do this. I don't want to be that guy who just takes comics and shoots them on screen. I think it's our job to treat it as if it's our run. If I'm the writer of a comic book, you wouldn't just retell someone else's story, you would take that ball and move it forward. Charlie Cox, a British actor, is the first non-American actor to portray Daredevil in live action. Prior to Cox were Ben Affleck, Edward Albert, and Rex Smith. Okay, I find a guy in a dumpster who turns out to be some kind of blind vigilante who can do all this really weird shit. Like smell cologne through walls and sense whether someone's unconscious or faking it? Slap on top of that, he can take an unbelievable amount of punishment without one damn complaint. The last part's the Catholicism. Comic artist Joe Casada was instrumental in helping the design of the show's Daredevil costume. It was Casada who suggested implementing rivets in the suit design to evoke an industrial feel reminiscent of New York City. The suit itself is supposed to feel like a Kevlar vest. For his portrayal of a blind person, Cox was not only lauded for his performance, but also awarded the Helen Keller Achievement Award by the American Foundation for the Blind. And here's a bonus one. Goddard and DeKnight were both once writers for Mutant Enemy, Joss Whedon's production company, and both wrote for Angel and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. During 2015, all three were simultaneously working on Marvel properties, Whedon on Age of Ultron, Goddard on the now-canceled Sinister Six movie, and DeKnight on Daredevil. Who the hell are you guys? I'm Matt. He's Foggy. Who sent you? Nonsense. So what, you're just a couple of good Samaritans? Today's just my lucky day? That's it for this episode of You Think You Know TV. Make sure you subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get the latest movie and TV news on ScreenCrush.com. 